Welcome to my YouTube channel and please subscribe and click the notification button so that you don't miss updates. This is the current update, listen carefully and subscribe for more information. If you are new kindly subscribe and press the notification button for onward information. Pay attention as disbursement bell begins to ring in 24 hours. Nigerians, this is the voice of Shika Ritaji Najai, the Akoma Boko of the world. I give glory to Almighty God for giving us another opportunity to witness today. And I thank my brother, Shane from London, who will take UH matter to BBC for calling me. I told him to hold on. I'm doing my investigation for me to know what is really happened because we are in darkness. And I appreciate uh, the president of All Grand Press Group, German Machine. He called before the meeting they did about three days ago and he explained a lot of things to me. Actually, I've called him, he didn't pick, and he returned my call. And I'll bless you. But I'm still doing my investigation to know the truth because we are still in darkness. Me, I don't just come out to talk. I always do my, I always do my investigation. And I promise Nigeria that I will come out to tell Nigerians the truth. I won't hide anything. It's a promise. And I stand on my word. Tomorrow is the end. That's why I'm begging Mr. Shane from London to hold on. The problem we are facing in Grand Tour is that there is no love. We have to love ourselves. The truth is that we are all from God. We are being created by Almighty God. We are the image of God. We should forget maybe a Manawusa, Yibo, Yoruba, this tribe, something where so a lot of us uh, always uh, have it in mind. We should forget about tribalistic. We are all from God. God did not create us as say, maybe you go and be a Wusa. You go and be evil, you go and be. No, no, no. It is when we are born, we speak different languages. And in Bible or in Quran, they not tell us that uh, we are we are not from God. That maybe uh, the God that created Awusa is different from the God that created uh, Ibo. No, we are being created by only one God. So if we look it in that angle that we are from God, there will be no problem. All this money we are talking about, even though those that have access to the money, if you take it to them, God take your life. What will you tell your God? Or if you make people lose this money and God take your life, what will you tell God? A lot of people are dying. I've been receiving a lot of messages. I share tears at times. Oh my God. I don't sleep. People bombard me with calls, messages. I have to WhatsApp. In the middle of, in the middle of my night, uh, I'm supposed to, to sleep. I'll start responding to a lot of messages. So I'm begging the two parties. I don't want to say that maybe this one is the one that's holding it. I am still doing my investigation. It's very easy for us to get this money. The way Abdul spoke to me said, if things, um, if things is done well, that they can disburse this money between some two houses. That's what he told me. So I see this thing is very easy. So, and I'm begging those people that have been threatening the lives of organ pressure group that they should stop it. And also, I had an information that people are threatening the life of Chinwe, the daughter of Apostle Ken and Apostle Ken himself. Let's stop it for now. Yes, we have just only one day and wish we know that by weekend, we'll plan what we are going to do. 
So by Monday and Tuesday, the journey will start. But if we finally lose this money, I want to say this, Nigerians will never forgive all Grand Pesho Group and uh, Apostle Ken. That's the reason why I'm begging the two parties Let's come together. Let's see one on one. Let's see one on one. Now, all grand person who said we yeah, are with Apostle the Ken, they held a meeting and no one of us will be there. So it has been a, it is be a time whereby we want to bring both parties together. We we'll call Apostle Ken, all grand person group. And we will be there to know the truth and what is and what is stopping blocking this development. And if they refuse to come together, we'll come back to Nigerians to tell Nigerians that these are the people that refused to attend the meeting. So that in the meeting, we know the truth. Because all this while we say I Apostle Ken and our grand pressure group. They have come together, they, uh, uh, they have agreed to do the need to. By the end of the day, it won't happen in the way we hear it. So we want to push up to heat. If all Grand Pressure Group and Apostle Ken come out and cook food for all Nigerians, we will eat it. But if all Nigerians gather themselves and cook food for or grand pressure group and put again, they cannot eat it finished. So that means you people you are not higher than Nigerians. People are hailing you, you guys today because they believe in you. But if finally they lost what they're supposed to get from you people, I'm telling you people, Nigeria will never forget you people. But if Nigeria get this money, they will celebrate you people. So I'm still giving you an advice. We will call for a meeting today by God's grace. We have to sort things out. We'll call for a meeting. To know the truth. We don't want to see as if uh, anything you just said, uh, we, have, we, are, we have a meeting with Apostle Ken. We have decided and we have made it and this and no, we don't want to hear that again. We don't want to hear that again. As a chief of a community, I want to use my good office to call both of you together today, not tomorrow. Today, we want to know the truth. I've been saying Oluwa is involved, Oluwa is involved. We are deceiving ourselves. God has answered our prayers. It is we that are blocking the way. It is we that are blocking the prayer. So we have to come together to love ourselves, to talk together for the poor masses to get this money. I will still come my way today, Nigerians, to let you know what is going on. I'm here for the masses, I stand by the, by the masses, and I will stand for the masses till God take me away. Thank you, all pastors, all our fans, all our fathers on the other side. For praying for me, I really appreciate you. What I mean, the our fathers, the churches. God bless you all. I really appreciate you, and I will never disappoint you, people. I will never disappoint the masses. I will always come out to say the truth. And also, I want everyone else to have in mind that one Nigeria is going to save us. One Nigeria is going to save us. Let's. Put ourselves together, one voice. Our government will listen to us. God will bless us. Let's stop killing innocent Nigerians. Let's stop.
kidnapping innocent people one nigeria will say is the only thing that can save us god bless nigeria god bless everyone that listen to me god bless all my fans home and abroad thank you so much <laughs>